This is where the fun starts. I'm now going to show you exactly how to set this up. So you click on a button, like for instance, the top button I've got there. I'm going to set that as undo and give it a red color because, well, red I associate with undo. And just to show you, this next one I'm going to go into, let's go into playback navigation, play and stop. That would be a good one to have. Green I associate with play and stop. So there we go, two buttons, undo and play, stop. Then over here for my sliders, you can do stuff on the audio mixer. Uh, so I could, of course, pan or use volume control as well. So I might make one into a volume slider. That will change the uh, volume of the selected track that I'm in, in the multi-track. Um, same again with the second slider. I'll go into pan, selected track, and then I can pan whatever track I'm on from left to right. I'm going to make that magenta. That'll be nice. Now we've got the dials, and again, we can set up different things in here. So uh, look, edit tools. You've got paintbrush sizes for noise reduction, of course. Uh, all kinds of stuff under the clip that you can get into. Shuttle will be a good one. That's something I I used to do when I worked in radio, shuttle along audio. So to have that opportunity with palette is just fantastic. Uh, then this uh, uh, dial I'm going to set up as, oh, what shall I do? Well, you can cycle automation modes, which is a really cool thing to do. Obviously, you've got volume in there as well. Uh, but I think in this case, I'm going to probably go in and go for something like zoom uh, the time because I, I do that quite regularly. So I know I'll use that uh, dial quite a bit. And finally, edit tools. I'm going to change the paintbrush brush size uh, when I'm doing a bit of work in the spectral frequency display. And I'll set that one a nice yellow because yellow is my favorite color. There we go. Right. We're all set up. Now we can get started with some real audio. Okay. So watch what I can do here. I can select this and I can delete something and then I can undo it by hitting. Yes, that's right. The button. That's really good. And there you go. Play and stop. Perfect. Works really well. Let's delete lots of little bits here. And then I'm going to undo by hitting that red button. Whoa, that feels really good. Okay, now I'm going to show you how the shuttle works. You know, I can see loads of potential in that. Mm, not just for audio production, but just in general. The shuttle works really well. How about zooming into time? Yep, look at that. A nice, smooth zoom on any piece of audio I'm around. I'm hovering around just by using that dial. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to use that feature a lot on the Palette Expert Kit. How about changing the paintbrush size? Yes, spectral frequency display here. Select, yes, the paintbrush. And then I'm going to, yep, look at that. I make it bigger and draw around. And I can also make it tiny and draw around. I can make it bigger again or tiny or really tiny and draw little tiny kind of S shapes all over the spectral frequency display. Very cool. Finally, I'm in multi-track and I'm going to show you how it works now. I did a little bit of panning there and volume, but let's go into the mixer because that will really demonstrate how this works. Watch how it all works. Absolutely super. Those sliders work like a dream.